All right, gang. Not very many people have uh, the resources or the money to go out and get, you know, a thousand plus dollar electric lift like the one that I was fortunate enough to get my hands on. But they still need to lift stuff, lift engines, lift the fronts of tractors up, you know, do stuff in that respect. Um, so the next best thing is what? Well, a block and tackle and some line that's sturdy enough to lift things up with, right? Okay. Any block and tackle you get is just going to have a pin going through the pulley. That's a point of friction. Also, they rattle and move back and forth. That's a single block and tackle allow you to lift twice your weight. Here's a double. Look at the size of that gap. I don't know how well you can see that. That's a huge gap. How many of you have been using these and your line has skipped off the pulley and has gotten trapped in there? Isn't it about high time that somebody came up with a block and tackle system that addresses this problem, addresses that problem, the friction problem, and addresses the bulkiness. You know, you're going to have 3 8 inch rope, big, you know, it, it just, you're going to be carrying around 5, 6, 7 pounds of gear to either, you know, hoist a deer up in the tree or to pull an ATV out that is stuck in the mud, any number of things. Um, a really good friend of mine. Albert Peel has come up with a product that is going to turn the block and tackle industry on its ear. It is an absolutely incredible design and I was so impressed with it. Uh, Albert and I sp have spent hours literally talking on the phone, talking back and forth about you know, just our lives in general. Uh, we're both veterans. He's a veteran of the Coast Guard. He also does a lot uh, to help homeless veterans. He makes um, shelters and gives the shelters away for free and they're portable shelters. Uh, but let's talk about what this video is about and that's the nifty lift. We're not going to put it to the test today. This is just going to be giving you guys all of the information about the nifty lift so that you guys can make an educated decision on your next block and tackle purchase. First of all, CNC machined. CNC machined. Nifty-lift.com is the website. Showing capacity here of 700 pounds. This uh, note right here, you guys can go ahead and read that. And pause it and read it. Let me get it to where it's straight. Pause it and read it. Um, state 600 pounds um, but that's a safe working load that he feels real comfortable with uh, also you can see right down here made in USA so what is so different about this system compared to your standard block and tackle system where your ropes get caught in between the pulleys you're having to pull more than twice or four times your weight because of the friction that is caused from the pulleys dragging on the pins that are in them so on and so forth your cordage is large and bulky look how thin this is see how thin that is <clears throat> would you guys believe me if I told you that this thin cordage right here one single strand of it is capable of lifting a Chevy small block 350 would you believe me if I told you that you could even lift 2,500 pounds using this block and tackle system? Now, do not recommend anybody does this, but if you guys will go to the Swedish homestead, you will see where he used one of these block and tackle systems, and he was really apprehensive, and I can't say as I blame him, but I believe it was an 800 kilo uh, feed bag that he lifted using the nifty lift. You guys can just Google 500 kilo and it'll give you what it is in pounds. It's a lot of weight. Uh, you go to 
Mr. Peel's YouTube channel, which is N-I-F-T-E-L-I-F-T -E -I -I all together, and you will see him lifting a tote full above the full line of water. Now, one gallon of water weighs eight pounds. There's a 350 gallon tote, including the cage, that he used one of these to lift up off of a trailer. I'll do the math for you here real quick. It was over 2,500 pounds, over a ton, that this lifted with this cordage. Now this cordage uh, has a coating on it to help uh, prevent abrasion. I'm not saying that you won't abrade it, but on his website, which is nifty-lift.com, you can buy as much cordage as you want in any length that you need. Um, he sent this, well not this one, but he sent one of them out to the Worcester Polytechnic Institute of Massachusetts. They have a 50 ton press there. They used that 50 ton press to pull this block and tackle and to try to pull it apart. The block and tackle itself survived the line finally gave out at 5,600 pounds. 5,600 pounds. That's nearly three tons that that line was capable of holding. Now, 1,700 pounds is what it is saying it is rated at. And so obviously we're being very, very, very cautious on the lifting capacity. You do not ever want to use this as a safety device. Obviously, you never want to stand underneath of anything that you're lifting with this device. But for all of you guys out there that are wanting to lift your engines or your hunters and you're wanting to string up a deer and what have you, the difference between this set and that set is what's all tucked inside. You don't have pins going through pot metal pulleys. No. There are actual ball bearings in here and a piece of Delrin and washers as spacers. So the ball bearings have the load of the line on them for very, very smooth and easy operation. Also, there is a cleat that is on it. Now there are aluminum cleats and then there is this plastic cleat. These cleats are not intended to hold the load indefinitely. They are to help you so you can regrip your line and keep tugging. But these cleats will hold before failure a safe 350 pounds. So you can still lift quite a bit of weight with it. Now I am going to put this to the test. I'm not doing it today like I said. I just wanted to give you guys all of the information on this thing as best I could to the best of my ability with uh, all of the time that I spent talking to Albert uh, on the phone. He and I both were just super 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 excited for me to do a video on it because all the videos that are out there they're showing it in use but they're not telling you all of the backstories on it and all of the details on exactly how durable this thing is and what its fail points were at an actual Polytechnic Institute, a place that does this to determine failure points. 5,600 pounds and all that broke was the line. The block and tackle had a little bit of stress at each one of the um, those things. Sorry. I guess I could just show you actually. Had a little bit of stress right here. So, how incredible is that? They are CNC machined. He is currently making lots of 32. So, when you go to the website, you're going to see the price. You're going to be like, oh my God, well, I want you to think about something. You need some kind of a lift that one is super portable. It's in a teeny, teeny, tiny little carry case. And there's plenty of room inside that carry case for other stuff too. It weighs one and one quarter pounds. You're going hunting, last thing you want to do is lug around a bunch of weight. 
Take that. I know that I'm going to keep one of these in my vehicle. There is no reason in the world I cannot use this to help pull a vehicle out of a snow drift. There's no reason in the world I can't take it when out on the ATVs to pull somebody out of the mud. No reason in the world. A 5,600 pound brake strength and that's just on the line. Again, do not rely solely on those numbers, that 5,600 pound number. It was intentionally destroyed to find out where it would fail. And his conservative 700 pounds, everybody does it. They get something, it says safe working load limit. Oh, uh, well, let's hang on. Okay, my strap. My strap's road or load capacity here, if you take a look at it, is vertical is 2,400 pounds, a choke is 1,900, and a basket is 4,800 pounds. That is what this polyester webbing is load rated at by. Dum -dum 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 -dum. What's the company? What's the company? Lift all. Um, and of course, obviously, they have made sure that it is certified. Alberts is not certified yet. He is working on getting all of that done. Um, but just what an incredible product launch. Incredible product launch. And I started to say at uh, at his price point, you have to figure that CNC machining is not cheap. Uh, 32 set lots is not a big lot to do, so the price is a little higher. Once these things take off and once he's able to make part lots of 320 instead of 32, his hopes are to get the price of these things under $100. But you've got to think of the value of these not in dollars and cents, but in its ability and in its capability and what you would spend on say a 110 or a one ton chain hoist, a half ton chain hoist, what's that going to cost you? A power lift, like the power lift I have, what's that going to cost you? What's that going to set you back? How portable is a half ton or a one ton chain hoist? <laughs> They're heavy. You're not going to want to have that thing on your back to lift a deer up into a tree carrying around one and a quarter pounds to do it? Why not? Um, if I don't believe in a product, I do not talk about a product. Absolutely do not talk about one. Uh, like I say, Albert and I have spent hours and hours and hours on the phone. This 72 year old man is brilliant. I, and I know he's going to call me and just cuss at me for propping him up like that, but he is. This is, and he's got many, many other ideas for inventions as well, and all of them very good. Um, like I say, 72 year old man, nothing's slowing him down. He's going to kick all of our butts. Uh, he, he's just, he, I, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant man. I can't say enough about him. Um, but we have grown to have a fast, strong friendship uh, over the course of hours of phone conversations and whatnot. And I asked him if he would send me one so that I could introduce it to all of you guys. And he was more than happy to send me one. He's as, as excited about it as I am. Uh, there are a couple of other videos out there on it, but they do not tell you all the specifics. They don't tell you, in fact, uh, Albert called me just yesterday on the um, Polytechnic Institute results. So this is the first time anybody's hearing exactly what the failure point of this system was. That's a lot of weight, 5,600 pounds. That's nearing three tons. You can lift a car. You could, I, 
easily lift a car with this tiny little one and a quarter pound system. Um, if you weigh 150 pounds, you will have the pull capacity on it, a true pull capacity as opposed to one that has resistance as you're pulling and also the risk of the line getting jammed. That's not going to happen with these. I started to say the bearings, they are recessed into the CNC machined fixtures. So there is absolutely nowhere for that line to go except to rest on the surface of the outer surface of the bearings. So you don't have to ever worry about a line getting choked up or caught. Um, I really don't know what else to say about it except you guys stay tuned for me to put this to the test. I'm going to do some simple things with it, uh, like lifting the 7117, the Briggs Vanguard at, in and out of the 7117. I'll use my lift as a stationary and use the block and tackle to lift and uh, lower. Um, when you buy this, it comes equipped with enough line for you to do a 10 foot lift from the ground. Um, and you can go to his website and purchase any length of line that you need. It does not abrade easily. You do have to be careful with it. It's line. But it doesn't abrade easily because it has a special coating on it. The line itself is being made by a, mo by a mom and pop shop. And he reached his goal to make a product that can be used in such a wide, wide, wide variety of scenarios that I don't think he has even yet realized all of the potential that this lifting system has. Pulling system and lifting system. Uh, he said he wants to keep it small. He doesn't want to go to a larger line and larger block and tackles or to double them up and have, you know, eight times the pulling strength as opposed to four times. Doesn't want to do that. This is... Um, a convenience item. It's a convenience item just like a jump pack, the new lithium jump packs. A small compact item that can be taken with you wherever you go so you don't get stranded or get yourself in a bind. You're able to get yourself out. Things in technology are improving all the time. This was something that seriously needed to be improved and Albert has done it. So guys thanks for riding along with me on this uh, almost 18 minute long video. I know I've repeated myself, I know I've jumped around, but all the information about it is there. Again, let me tell you guys where you can go. You can go to nifty-lift.com. You can call him directly at area code 603-401-4966. Or you can send him a snail mail at nifty-lift PO Box 21 Center Barnstead, New Hampshire, 03225. Fantastic. Okay? And Albert, thank you very, very much for sending it to me. Believe me, this is going in the truck. It is going to be put into my regular everyday carry in the truck. And one's not going to be enough for me. You better believe I'm going to be buying more than just one off of you. Now you notice mine is silver. He is also anodizing. So they will be available I believe just in red and blue. Don't quote me on that. He'll correct me. Um, but guys, that's all I've got to say. And I don't really care if you give me thumbs up on this one or not. I'm giving myself thumbs up and Albert some huge thumbs up for his out of the box thinking. You guys know that I think out of the box as much as I can. And when Albert and I started clicking our out of the box thoughts, that's why we're talking on the phone for hours and hours is because we are like minded. And if I, like I said, if I didn't believe in a product and I didn't think that this was something that is absolutely going to be just, uh, it, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It, it, I don't know what else to say about it, but we're going to put it to work, like I said, and we're also going to do a couple of other interesting things to really put it to the test. Um, do I want to destroy it? Absolutely not, because I want to be able to use it for years and years and years to come. And another nice thing is if you happen to uh, damage a bearing in any way, shape, or form, they are just your regular old ordinary basic skateboard bearings. Go buy some skateboard bearings 
throw them in there if you want different types of skateboard bearings take it apart throw them in there and you're off and running to the races these are sealed bearings um, there well there isn't any I'm, I'm, I'm done I'm I've said everything that I think needs said about this lift without actually putting it to work and putting it to use but I am gonna do that and every time I pull it out buddy Albert you, you better believe I'm gonna be mentioning you and I'm sure that I will talk to you very very soon I forgot that I had sent this to my PO box and not my home address so that's why I'm a day late in getting it but it did arrive yesterday uh, but all right that's it guys please give Albert a thumbs up go to his channel check it out um, see what he has done with this system and with his cordage go to like I said Wrangler Star posted a video go to uh, the Swedish homestead and check out what he lifted with it um, it's just an incredible system so that's it it's your friendly neighborhood Zippo I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here.